guys welcome to a very important video today that will help you to prepare for technical interview for pharmacovigilance you will learn 10 important question asked in pb interview watch this video till end this will help you to get your dream job we will learn this through two persona that is david and joe david is a graduate who is looking for pharmacovigilance job and joe is going to conduct a technical interview let us learn 10 important questions asked in pharmacovigilance interview for freshers. Now before we start, let me give you some good tips for interview preparation. First you should reach the location before time, so make sure you manage your logistics well. Second, use formal dress, but make sure you are comfortable in the dress that you wear. Third, you should do research about the company business where you have applied for job. Fourth, understand the role for the position you have applied for and in case you are not sure, you can ask about the role or job description during the interview. And finally, you should carry a good resume. Now let's see question number one. In all the interviews, you will be asked to introduce yourself. Always keep in mind that this question is asked to check your communication skill. You can introduce like my name is David. I have completed my graduation from Mumbai University. I am born and brought up in Mumbai. I am looking for pharmacovigilance opportunity in your STEAM organization. I have hobbies of making friends. I am also a good team player. Now let us see what is the question number two <coughs> that will be asked in your interview. What do you know about pharmacovigilance? Remember not to give a bookish definition. You are getting assessed about subject you know and not definition that you remember. You can explain that PV is a proactive monitoring and reporting of quality, safety and efficacy of the drug and it helps in assessment of the risk and benefit of medicine. You can also explain PV helps to provide information to consumers healthcare professionals and regulators for effective use of drug. Now let's see question number 3 which is asked in the interview is what is adverse event. You can always explain this like an adverse event is an untoward event which happens in a patient during the clinical trial. For post marketing it does not necessarily has a causal relationship with this drug. Question number 4 asked in the interview Generally, are what is serious adverse But even this question is twisted in a way where people ask when does adverse event become serious adverse event? You should explain by saying that five important condition in which an adverse event becomes serious adverse event in human at any dose that may lead to death is a life threatening, it requires inpatient hospitalization or even it causes prolongation of existing hospitalization. Fourth condition is result in persistent or significant disability or incapacity. And last condition may be may have caused a congenital anomaly or a birth defect. Fifth question asked is who can report adverse event? You can always say an adverse event can be reported by patient, doctors, hospitals, pharmacist and pharmaceutical companies. I can give an example, if we experience adverse event after taking drug of Sanofi, we can report this by sending an email to tv.india at sanofi.com or we can call toll free number for reporting. Question number 6. What is case considered valid for processing? Question number 6 is when is case considered valid for processing? Every reported case should meet four basic criteria for case to be considered valid. One, identifiable patient. Second, adverse event. Third, identifiable reporter. And fourth, a suspected drug. Question number seven asked during interview could be what are source of adverse event? Make sure you explain this well to the interviewer that adverse event can be reported from four important sources. First is safety call center reported case, second clinical trial cases, third is spontaneous cases and fourth is literature search cases. 
these are the sources of adverse events that get reported question number 8 can you tell me which software is used for case processing you can always respond saying software like argus aris global and viva is used for case processing however being as a fresher i do not have an experience on this software question number 9 could be explain me what is good clinical practice now remember entire clinical trial is governed by gcp hence such question is put in technical interval and you can respond by saying good clinical practice is an international ethical and scientific quality standard for designing recording and reporting of trial that involves human subjects and every research conducted in the human should comply with good clinical you can see a last question that could be asked to you could be are you aware of few regulatory bodies an answer should be yes few regulatory bodies that i know are usfd european medicine agency that is ema and nhs this video has helped you to prepare for interview please subscribe to i buddy and share this video in your college whatsapp group please join our telegram group you can find the link in the description and be part of our career counseling session or q&a session we conduct every saturday keep us posted once you get your first job good luck for your future